The Manage Inventory page provides you with tools for searching, viewing, and updating your product and inventory listing information. To navigate from the Seller Central homepage, hover over Inventory and click Manage Inventory. You can filter the list to show all your inventory, just active inventory, or just inactive inventory. And if you have any, another filter will appear to show suppress listings, quality issues, or price alerts. Your inventory is listed in the table below, organized to show you the product status, a thumbnail of the product image, your merchant SKU, product name and its ASIN, date created, available quantity, fee preview, your price, including shipping, and whether you are offering the lowest price, including shipping, for that item on Amazon. Clicking any of these table attributes filters your inventory. You can also search for your products using the search bar at the top of the page. Quickly make a change to available quantity or price in the text fields, then click to save your changes. If you click Edit, you'll also see additional actions you can take, like managing images, matching to the low price displayed, or deleting the product and listing. In most cases, changes you make to product information appear on Amazon within five minutes. However, certain updates can take up to six hours, and images may take up to 24 hours to appear on a product detail page. Sellers often use the Manage Inventory section for checking for suppressed listings or quality alerts, click the Suppressed or Quality Issues filter at the top of the page to see any impacted inventory, then click Edit next to the product. The reason for the product's suppression or quality alert will be highlighted on the product summary page. For example, failing to provide required listing data, such as an image, can result in suppression. As for quality alerts, these are highlighted areas for improving your listing information, but are not necessarily required. Matching to lowest price. This is the item's current lowest total price on Amazon, including shipping. The lowest price is dynamic, so you may need to rematch at a later time. Closing a listing. This action will change the listing status from active to inactive and doesn't remove the record from your inventory. The SKU and all listing information for the item are retained. The listing can be reactivated at any time, but this must be done manually. If you want to avoid manually reactivating closed listings, you could also consider simply setting your item's quantity to zero. This action will inactivate the listing, since there is no quantity to sell, and can be updated with inventory loader or price and quantity files. Deleting a listing. This permanently removes the SKU and all sales history and product information from your seller account. Therefore, you should delete a SKU and its listing information only if you are never going to sell that item in the future. For more information, search for Manage Inventory in Seller Central Help. Music